Hello friends, I am Sanjay Gupta. In this video, I am going to discuss about a program which is written in C++. So before that, uh, you can uh, note down my information, my contact number, my email ID, my website, my uh, app that is StackMS in which uh, you can fi uh, find out uh, various uh, tutorials regarding uh, different programming languages. You can download PPTs from tutorials.techms.in. You can read various books rela related to programming languages. And you can subscribe and watch uh, my YouTube channel where videos of uh, various programming languages are available. So these information will be helpful for your study and placement purposes. Now coming on to the program, the objective of the program is to read height of a person and print it. So the objective is written with the help of comment. Then I have included a header file IO stream. Then a predefined namespace that is std is used. Then uh, name of class is height. So height is our object which is real world entity. So the name of class is height. Then private section. Inside private section, I have declared two variables, feet and inch. So these are attributes of height object. Then inside public section, I have defined three functions. First is read, second is print, and third one is convert. So in this program, uh, two variables, uh, those are attributes, and three functions, those are operations, are implemented. So first function, which is read, it will uh, display a uh, message uh, with the help of cout that is enter feed value. Then scene will read feed from a console and the value will be stored inside feed variable. Then cout will print enter inch value message on console. Then inches will be read with the help of scene. After this read function, second function is defined which is print. So print function will print height as message on console. Handle will bring the cursor on new line. Then again cout will print uh, feet value and this feet variable will print its value. Then handle will bring the cursor on new line. Then again cout uh, it will print inch value on console. Then inch variable will be uh, displaying its value. Then handle uh, will bring the cursor on new line. Now this third function which is convert. This convert function is used uh, if inches are greater than equals to 12. So uh, we, uh, we know that if uh, we are uh, writing any height, then uh, we do not write inches which are greater than or equals to 12. We convert those inches into feet. So for this purpose, I have used this if condition. It is checking if inches are greater than equals to 12. So it will convert uh, uh, the inches into feet. So uh, if inches are greater than equals to 12, then uh, inch equals to inch minus 12 will be performed and feet will be incremented by 1. So as you know that uh, 12 inches are equal to 1 feet. So I have subtracted 12 from inches and I have added 1 into feet. So after this function, class is terminated with the help of semicolon, then main function is used. Inside main object is declared uh, with the help of height class. Uh, that is h and uh, the function uh, read is called first uh, using h dot read then a convert function is called with the help of h dot convert then print function is called with the help of h dot print so all three functions which are defined inside public section uh, have been called in main function now i am compiling this code So you can uh, see that uh, errors and warnings are zero. So uh, now I can successfully run this program. So it is asking feet value, which I am entering five. And suppose uh, inches are seven. So you can see that feet value is five and inch value is seven. So uh, now uh, you are uh, thinking that uh, convert is not uh, executed. Uh, because I have entered inch value 7. So I am again executing this code so that we can uh, use the convert function. Now inches, uh, sorry, feet are 5 and inches are 14. So now see the answer. Uh, feet uh, has been converted into 6 and inches are now 2. So inches are 14. So 14 minus 12 is 2 and 5 plus 1 is 6. So if we write 5 feet 14 inch, 
uh, it is uh, wrong notation so the right notation will be 6 feet and 2 inches so you can say that this program is working properly uh, you can implement this code in your laptop or desktop so that you can also uh, understand the uh, concept behind it so you can also see that I have used if else condition inside this program which is um, almost similar to uh, C language if else so you can uh, use conditional statements inside classes or functions in C++ so implement this program and understand the concepts of C++ very well so uh, you can uh, subscribe my YouTube channel so that you can watch various videos regarding programming languages so do subscribe and follow these information for your better preparation uh, for your studies and placement purposes thank you for watching this video